All right, let's go straight to business. For our first port of call, we take you to Katina State, where the news just hit us uh, below the belt that the commissioner in that state was shot to death by bandits, dastardly. And of course, uh, I'm, I'm talking about the commissioner for science and technology, Rabbi Nasir. He, he was said to have been killed on Wednesday evening at his residence in Fatima Shema Estate of Katsina State. Now, uh, what can one say? We've had one horrible news too, too many, Jide. It's, um, it's unfortunate. This is um, a, a particularly bad one for me because Dr. Rabe Nasir was my friend and um, Sometimes when there is something tricky that we need to discuss, I will call him. I've known him for quite some time. It is, he was not killed by bandits. This is a clear case of assassination. assassination. Really? And he was not shot at. Because clearly they didn't want people to be at attracted to the building by the sound of gunshot. So they actually used knives to kill him. You can imagine how painful, how painful it must have been for him. They used, they saw knife cuts yeah, all, all over his body him. and they locked him inside his toilet after killing him. You know, he was in the House of Reps along with the governor. And then he left the House of Reps in 2015, but retained his building in Abuja. So his family was in Abuja. So he was alone yeah, with the house well. help. Yes, mm -hmm. he was alone with the house help. Now, these guys never broke into the building. So how did they gain houses? Who uh, opened the door for them? These are questions for the police mm -hmm. to unravel. And I understand that... Uh, uh, some arrests have already uh, been made. He was a special assistant to the governor during his first term, and then he elevated him to the rank of uh, uh, commissioner. commissioner um, in 2019. It's particularly painful. If you knew him personally, this was a man with capacity. He has served in different areas. He was in the DSS, you know, during the military era, he was in the DSS, he was in the House of Reps, he was in the EFCC. The EFCC they yes. were the first set of workers at EFCC. He worked closely with no Ribadu uh, back it, then. It brings, it, it brings the question, um, so who could be unhappy with him? As we what move, could be unhappy with him? As we move close to another election year. Anything. This sort of things will happen. Yeah. Remember... Uh, Ari Masha, all of those unsolved murders yeah. and all that. This sort of things, as we move close to an election year, you can be sure that some of these things will happen. But my worry is every time there is a high profile murder, we are unable to solve the murder. They just go after a while, people will stop talking about yeah, it. Because, because they, they say, you people, you have a short memory. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if, yeah, if that's, yeah. that's the they, truth. They have a feeling that we'll stop talking about it after, after a while. while. It's just, it's just painful. Adequately, you know, uh, as the Americans would say, you ain't seen nothing yet. So we are approaching 2022, almighty year just before the elections. One is not being cynical. Anything can happen. Yes, anything can happen. If, if you look at his profile, naturally you will believe that <laughs> Somebody was not happy. It's, it's making some people uncomfortable. Look at his profile. But I am, you know, somebody who has been the House of Reps, somebody who has served in the SSS, somebody who has served in the EFCC. EFCC. So, and Obviously, he would and have stepped up those. He was very, very close to the governor. Wow. And just as GD said, a man with capacity. So some people may be thinking, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Mm. Maybe it's a governorship material. Mm. You yeah. know, in our climb here, it's also, it's like a crime 
when to be successful <laughs> when you, yes yeah. when you are resourceful you are successful you have initiative you are doing well yeah you make life difficult for some people yeah. that's the way they say it may, so maybe, in may, in may, politics, maybe that's why you are lying low uh, well, let's let's leave me out of this. <laughs> in politics, I'm not in politics. In no, no, politics, seriously. In, yeah. in, po in politics, believe me, it's really a big problem. And uh, I don't know. He too uh, left too many, too too Things much to chance. chances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You a person like that should be more should have been more conscious of his security. Mm -hmm. When you look at the way he was killed. You know, some people say the man, bandits didn't, no, no, they don't those, operate those that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. You understand me? The way he was killed, he was deliberately thrilled and they killed him and made sure. Maybe and they didn't they take anything him. out of his house. Uh, the phones, the everything, they, they didn't were able take to anything. And I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to feel that the perpetrators will pay because, number one, <laughs> when you kill people, in the security agencies, one of them, you will know that our own security agencies can work oh, even yeah. when they are ready to work. Yeah, I want to think so because this, I, this I, is something I just hope so. Because in this same casino, a serving DSS official was killed a few months back. They trailed him to his house around 10 pm, you know, and we've not had anything. Nigeria is changing. I just hope that. We 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 do not lose it as a country because I don't I don't understand what's going on. In the <laughs> past, <coughs> you could bet that this kind of thing will not happen in the north, especially in Casino. But things are changing. Evil people have literally taken over. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They they have a free reign, and yes. uh, so you are asking, is it's this deliberate? Mm -hmm. I just I just I, I, I just I'm, think that they are hot to be. A national response to our worsening security situation. Yeah, it's not as I was saying on, on social media. When we complain about this, it's because we want change to happen. Because it could be any of us. I always say that. Look, it could be any of us. Now, it has happened to my friend. Hmm. So what? How? How would I now feel? It means that I've got to be careful too. Because it could be any of us. Yes. We could be victims of bandits. We could be victims of criminals. It could yeah, happen to crazy. anyone. That is why we must all jump in and push our government to protect us better. Otherwise. Because it has hmm. the capacity so oh. to do. It has the capacity so to do. Well, from here, from this hangout, our hearts will go out to the family of late Dr. Nasir Rabe, uh, who was the Commissioner for Science and Technology in Katina State, who was gruesomely murdered some days back. We're sorry about that. <laughs>